Hi, thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to talk about creating a jewel box dining room, which is exactly what I wanted to do in my home. My first step, my floor was antique wood, so it's very dark. So I sanded it and we applied a porch and deck paint in a color called City Lights by Sherwin Williams. I then used Fine Paints of Europe on the wall. This is a custom color for me and uh, it created this glow in the room of different sheens. The ceiling is done in a hand applied four by four uh, silver leaf squares. So this is my little backdrop to my jewel box. I've always wanted, you know, a dining room that was its own star. And that's what this helped create by adding these different sheens in the room. My dining table is part of my furniture line, Terra Show Maison. I wanted a big, elongated table that I could sit with my large family and just share a wonderful meal on vintage, you know, china and using all the silvers that I bought at all the flea markets and the double in France. So the chairs are sort of a hodgepodge, two mixtures of 19th century Swedish little contemporary tabaret in resin gives it just added seating for dinner. Now, where I hide all my storage pieces is in this buffet decor, and it's Swedish. The family uh, wrote their name on the interior, love that, 1839, and so this is where I tuck away all my stuff after uh, dinner. So, it's great to have a tall storage piece in your dining area because it's extremely functional. The, the anchor here on this wall is a 19th century School of Genoa, Jesus at, uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane. I love it. Come on. This is Brother Luca. And um, it was originally in my dressing room upstairs. Now, I believe furniture and art should move around the house. It just, it feels like you've reinvented your home when you move things around. So, it's the anchor on my back wall. Below is a little 18th century Swedish bench dressed in fortuny. I added a 19th century big floor mirror, and this is also part of my Maison collection, but this was added to create a larger space makes the room feel much more open when you add large floor length mirrors. Now, one of the sexiest pieces in the room is this 18th century console. And it has a faux marble top. The mirror was actually, I bought it in Parma, Italy, but it was part of a facade of a house. You know, an exterior of a house, and so we just added a mirror to it. It is now in my Terrachon Maison collection where we're making it in plaster in the city of New Orleans. The thing that really makes the room work though are the contemporary pieces. Uh, this is a marble sculpture. We also have a local artist and these are ceramic totem poles. You know, it's lending that contemporary vibe with the antiquity that makes your room timeless. You know, what would a room be without a satin roller chair? I have a pair of these in our warehouse or on our website for sale. But um, I love these. I talk about creating your dining room in uh, a collector's sanctuary, chapter one, sold the home. Thanks so much for joining me today.